Welcome back. What's going on, boys? Uh, we weren't around yesterday, but we do have elite rank one option or rank two, rank three. But I'm going to be taking the 45,000 coins and saving the packs for 6 p.m. Because not only do we have team of the week, best of, as well as a re-release. I think it's going to be trailblazers, road to the knockouts. It's just basically going to cause the market to crash even more. But it's nice. So Kingsley Coleman for my start 11 would be sweet. And informs uh, Bernardo Silva's good. He is also coming out as one of these new Thunderstruck cards. So you might like him. Or he might feel a little bit too slow. And Kubel87. Good fodder. For Alan St. Maxima. De Jong. So many SPCs are going to drop. Do we have enough fodder? I hope so. EA genuinely have gone and released some crazy pack content. Not only in the store, but we don't care about that. The SBCs. 83 plus times 10 times three of them you can do and everything else that's come out. So let's open up our rewards. It is 6 p.m. There is a refresh of promos. Let's go. Like this is a good day. Usually Thursdays are kind of like dry with content, but the packs on offer. Fantastic. Can Kieran Trippier. He's all right. He's back in training. He's going to be ready for Chelsea on Saturday. If you guys were worried. Informs best of. Like, there are so many specials in packs. And you wait. I'm not going to get any of them. Not even an inform. Like, that's kind of crazy. And we are needing three informs to complete the 83 plus times 10s. That's still quite good, though. An 86. I I'm just desperate for this stuff here. Just so I don't have to go on the market and spend. 100k pack. Any promos? Something? Right back. Is it going to be a duplicate? No. There it is. Newcastle right back and now Chelsea right back. James. Quite poor. And that's one of the reasons why I took the 45,000 coins from Elite Div. Three of these coming up right now. So what I'll do is I'll build all three. Or maybe that's not a good idea. No, I won't do that because I'm probably going to get duplicates. So Kante, never used him. And to be honest with you, I never will. First 83 plus times 10. Please a special. Come on. And I need the informs because I've run out for the next one. So have a dangler. I'm desperate for a dangler right now. I, I, I seriously need one. Grimaldo, that's way too low. And he has an 87 inform that's crazy. Hey, 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 hey. Wow. Okay, well, that's a definite L. The first one was a major L. This one, just a medium. We'll work up. No promo? Genuinely? A goalkeeper from Canada. 85. Well, that's still terrible, though. Only an 85. Foden, 80. Well, the good news is we don't have any duplicates. One promo. No! Brazilian, though. Brazilian center back. Marquinhos, come on. Edim at a ten. Oh, it's... Oh, nah. It's like... It should be a good pull. If that was tradable, it's an 86. It's not so bad. But Edim, he's not better than what I have. So I will never use him. Like, genuinely will never use him. So it's straight up fodder. And there's nothing else inside the pack. I've been done royally dirty. If I'm going to get a promo card, it's going to be out of this right now. It's an 85 plus upgrade. And if I don't get a promo card, I'm going to be doing the Trailblazer or Road to the Knockouts. 85 upgrade. French is nice. Center four. Benzema. Yo, that's... Um, no. Oh, my God. He's so rare, though. You you don't see Nkunku these days, do you? All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. 85 plus for the account. Still not a promo. Genuinely. They're literally impossible to pack. No way. Is it going to be Carlos Puyol's sister or something? Oh, damn. I've never seen her before. Foden was a duplicate. Sterling never used, but I did like him at the start of the game. But it's a trailblazer. Just think about trailblazer. I don't want any stinking road to knockouts. Just trailblazer. Come on. No, it's a road to the knockouts. Italian though. Ooh. That is now the third time I've packed Bonucci. Oh no, it is Bonucci. Yeah, Bonucci. I've had like five people put a bid the last second. So before I say anything, is he locked in? He absolutely is. Musiela, five-star skiller. He used to be 500,000 coins. So he's come down a lot. He's been re-released. I want to try him out in this build. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we get rid. So let's have a lovely little session in Rivals. So finally, we've managed to bring Musiela into the starting 11. How many weeks to months have I been looking at this card? Well, ever since the promo dropped, I've had my eye on this man. When he was 700,000, the price never really phased me. It was more, how do I get him into this team and setup? Well, luckily for us, we have Kingsley Coleman and Kone to provide the chemistry. And it was the best opportunity. Take advantage of the Black Friday market crash and bring him in. Now, of course, we should expect him to drop because he's been re-released. Well, the good news is, is that I bought him for, I think it was like 320 and I sold him for what's like 340, 340 I listed him up for. So we haven't lost any coins on tax, but I'm literally going to repurchase him before the weekend league starts for me. 
which is going to be around what like 5 5 p.m 4 p.m 5 p.m so fingers crossed there's more packs more lightning rounds and it just drives him down to like 270 you need to take advantage of this crash because musiella it is basically using a winger in a center mid position and doubling up down the right hand side with salah right remember what his team of the season was like on fever 23 well, it's basically that all over again. He is so quick. And I was playing very late in the night. So obviously these games aren't going to be live. Uh, sorry for that. But I wanted to speak about a few things anyway. But with his style and how quick he is, all you got to do at times is just hold RB. And he seems to shift it so well. Like usually you'd use RB just to wrap around the defender. And you don't really do like try and technical dribble with it. But my goodness me, like you can just like you can shift it so well and then just drive with his pace. He genuinely is the quickest like centre mid that I've had to get away from a press and the skills as well and how light he feels. Just insanely fun. And what I've also found with my team now is that down the left hand side, usually I'd go with my overlapping fullback. I'd have Kingsley come with the skills and it would work. But down the right, I wouldn't have any real juice. There's nothing going on there. I've got Salah that's going to score a couple of like finesse shots. But now I've got like Musiela attacking down the right. I've got Kingsley Coleman. It's just provided a lot to my team. And I'll be honest though, I haven't really been finding myself doing as many skills this year. Maybe because I wasn't using skillers to start off with. But even when I had like Neymar and stuff, I just didn't really feel like I was playing as well. But now with the Musiela, it's just brought me back to the old days where I would add in a couple of those reverse elasticos and try something special. And the guy can do it so well he's just effortless in the midfield so absolutely a repurchase before foot champions so i'm glad look at that for example how he's just like dropped his shoulder and got got the finish off but comparing him to madison though gonna be brutally honest when it comes to like shot power madison does seem like he's gonna definitely get that goal whereas musiele he's got overall good finish but i think at times he will scuff it and then we'll have to hope for a rebound defensively he doesn't seem as open as I was expecting, I thought I was really going to feel like I was using a winger in that, that position and not be able to, um, you know, disrupt my opponent's play. But he's been good. Like his AI press, he's in and amongst the areas to be able to make some interceptions. So no issues with that. The only problem now is that I was thinking of getting De Jong for the attacking centre mid position before I had used Musiala. Like how can I go from five star skills, what he's provided to the De Jong? So we're going to have to shift everything across. Flashback De Jong, left centre mid. Bellingham, centre centre mid if we continue to use him. And then Mustiella, right centre mid. That sounds really good for me. And then also, we're going to have Alan St. Maxima. So think about it right now. Saint comes out flashback. If his finishing is like he was at the start of the game though, oh wow, that was pathetically bad. But then again, I was trying to test some things and I was new to the game. And now I realize play styles are huge in certain positions and what shots you want to take. So Alan Say Maxima, if he's cheap, I'll do him. If De Jong's worthwhile as well, I'll get him in anyway. So we're going to be unlocking some very, very good SBCs. But what I want to go and show you right now is something that you can get involved with as well. It is so easy to get a 25,000 coin pack. Let me show you. So I know it's a little bit hidden, but literally four moment tokens gives you a 25k pack. Well, I believe it is. 12 gold players, three rares, and 80 overall. Well, this is fantastic. It's not repeatable, unfortunately. Otherwise, you know, I would do a lot more. But it opens straight away. I wasn't expecting that. Striker. No, it can't be yeah, it can't be Mbappe. He's been released as a trailblazer. The one thing that does sort of annoy me a little bit is that there were so many players in packs, and out of the 83 times tens, nothing. Literally zero special cards. I've got more chance when they aren't running a promo like this. Hold on a minute. Why are these tradable and Martial isn't? That doesn't make sense. Ooh, maybe I've read it wrong or it was supposed to be like that. I don't know how they've been able to manage this. So I've just gone and taken my non-rares and dumped them into the 80 plus upgrades. These are really good. Important to get the rares so we can keep recycling and do anything that EA release. But come on, before we finish off today's video, let's get a special card. Something. Hakimi! Not hacking me. How many trolls in today's episode? But that buying effect, you know what I mean? The buying theme. Who was it the other day or last week? As soon as I bought the card, I was packing them. No, it was Puskas. As soon as I bought Puskas, I was packing Hungarian players. Next one. Rip it. Come on. <laughs> Give me something. Look at that. What do I what am I saying? Look at that. Called it. Hungarian. Or is it just because they're like 80 plus and like Willie Auburn's got an easy drop rate? 
But an 83, 82, good. I did want to ask you a question. Are there any players that you've got in mind? Inform, yes. Good. Are there any players that you've got in mind that you're going to be buying from Black Friday anyway? Like, anyone take your fancy? Maybe the past promo cards that have been re-released or maybe some of the upcoming Thunderstrike players? Like, I need a lot of coins. That's so handy. Do you know how much they are? 40k, by the way. 40,000 coins. And I did start ripping uh, too many into the 83 times 10s. I lost, like, all of the lower ones. I just had a thought. You know the idea of bringing in Thunderstruck, Jolaton? How do I get him now into the team for chemistry? Like, would I have to go and drop Kone straight away, but then Kone, chemistry to Musiela? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. They got to rework it for, like, FC25. Just scrap chem. Let me use who I want to use. Or do you like chemistry? Last two, but I can't complain. I got an inform. So it's the best pack or the best player that I pulled from a pack. And another buying player. Look at that theme. We continue. And Muller. Oh, no. Muller is, what, 83 this year? 84. Still a decent rating for Muller. Last one. It's a regular. Yeah, it's regular. Left back. Cancelo. No. Portuguese. Oh, um, I know who it is. Yeah, Nunmanish. How do you say his name? Uh, Nunmanish. No, I don't know. I don't know how you properly uh, pronounce it. But listen, two Portuguese players. Love that. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but Kingsley Coman has been added to the team of the week. So his 87 version is looking quite nice. But is it that much better than the 86? In my opinion, I don't think so. Like looking at the stats, like the shot increase from 77 to 79, are you going to really notice that in game? And I've been enjoying my base version anyway, the 86. So do we want to spend another 130,000 coins? We will have the money to spend, but knowing that he's in packs, his price is probably just going to crush anyway. So for the little performance that we're going to see, should I do it? Maybe. If you want to see it, I'll do it. Before Foot Champions. You're just going to have to let me know. But the team is ready. Puskas is still playing very, very well. 30 games, 31 goals, 13 assists. Just how he's dropping into the midfield and feeding over Kingsley and all sorts. But with that Musiela that will be re-signed, it's just giving me something extra. Like I feel a lot more free and creative going down the right and not having to always play down the left. So, fantastic. I am ready for foot champions but thank you so much for watching it's going to be a fantastic uh, couple of days uh, especially with the content and then going into next week just so many sbcs so looking forward to it and stay tuned but thank you for watching take care drop a like on today's video and i'll see you on the next one peace